Hello guys, Zul'jin here and welcome back to another episode of Grav. So, last time we left off, we were getting some wooden armor picked up and right now it's nighttime. There's a couple of folks that have moved in around me. This is like, I guess this is one of the starting areas because every time I come in, I spawn over there. And I got to looking around and doing a little bit of research and it looks like I needed one of these which is called an uplink. So when you interact with an uplink, it pretty much you either bind it or unbind it and you respawn where the uplink is. So now I won't have to travel too far once I die or I'll respawn here with the rest of my stuff. In addition to that, you can set things to private or group only, friends I guess and you can also upgrade them which I don't know what upgrading this does yet but I did upgrade my armory it costs quite a bit to upgrade them like when you go up to upgrade it tells you how much it costs and it's 75 of each so that's a lot I'm not too sure what it gives you when you upgrade it yet I have to do a little bit more research but I do want to finish making these armor so I did get the leggings the chest now I need the gloves and the boots and I thought I let me see what kind of helmet I had on if I look at armor, I have the default helmet, which I don't guess looked too good. <laughs> so I guess a, a wooden helmet would be better. Okay, so let's go ahead and interact with this. And we need to, let's see, we'll need, we need one more plank for this. And then we'll need four for that. So that's five altogether and nine altogether. So let's go to the factory. And what? what What's all that noise? I'm still not familiar with the noises and stuff. I guess there's some biting going on over there. I gotta be careful. There's some big tatas over there. <laughs> okay. So, um, wooden plank. Oh, I see. I could build hardened planks now. That's what it is. Hardened fossil. Okay, so apparently when you upgrade the factory, you can make more complex building materials, I guess. Okay, so for now, we'll just make some of the... What did I say? We needed five of the wooden planks. So one, two, three, four, five. I think that's what we have to do. And then we go here. Armor. We helmet. We'll make that. Oh, <laughs> we got a, a tree on our head. That's beautiful. Um, gloves. We'll go ahead and build that. Um, and for boots, we'll actually need four more, huh? Okay, let's do... Let's do four more of those. Uh, if I can interact with it. Oh, there it is. Takes me a little while sometimes. Wooden planks. One, two, three, four. Cool. I had been harvesting a lot of wood. And to the left, you'll see that I also have something new. Let me go ahead and build these boots. There I go. I'm in full wooden armor. Now, look. <laughs> look my face. I look like the scarecrow from the Batman movie. That's hilarious. Okay. But my stats are improved. It looks like all of these things, if I go into my inventory, I can take a look at my armor and I'll see that these things all give me different... Well, it doesn't actually show... What happened? <laughs> Use? It doesn't do anything. Well, when I went to build them, it showed what they are, so my stats should be enhanced, even though I'm ugly as heck. <laughs> uh, this is a form that I made. Basically, you can add wood to it, and it gives you food in exchange, and you can take the food out, just like this, and you'll have that to carry around with you. So I'm going to keep some food in here, naturally. If I die, I want to make sure that I have some food ready. And my spawn link is saved. I think the last thing I want to do is upgrade my, my weapon. So... I'm going to go to, first I want to upgrade, where is it? There was a rusty pistol and the multi-tool Mark II looks good too. I'll tell you what, can I, can I upgrade this itself? Can I upgrade the table and maybe I can make better weapons? 75 fossils out of 97 fossils. I might as well. And let's see if I can make a better, better weapons now. Rotted Club, Pistol Mark II, Armor, no? Pretty much the same thing. Well, I just used a ton of resources. I was hoping that I could get something a little bit different. Uh, this does say the Armory is level 3 now. Huh, no telling. Okay. Well, at any rate, we still need the Mark II, the Multi-Tool Mark II. So we'll need Spherical Cubes. Let's go to the factory and make some of those guys. Oh. Any day now. 
spherical cubes is what we need. Here we go. Alpha gameplay at its finest. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are they? Spherical cubes. So we need to make... Element X is what we need to make spherical cubes. So we really need to make a harvester. And I'm still not sure how to make those harvesters. Traps. Vehicles. Let's look at our build menu. Uh, structural support. This is all crafting. Placed items. Aerosan uplink cap campfire and form science station what can can oh science station uh, I guess we need to make one of these too huh uh, let's make one of these okay build cool what can we do with the science station we can make health sim starters we can make that looks like that's it so I'm not too sure how we're gonna get any of our uh, blueprints hmm maybe we ought to just go try to kill some stuff let's see if I can make that better sword now uh, we'll do that well it's not actually a sword is it it's a, it's a rotted wood club um, to do that we're going to need what exactly the multi-tool mark to requires some okay fossil blocks and wooden planks eight and eight and rusty pistol takes cut gem and ore bars now how about ammo ammo actually takes so oh, that was another player right there um, what's he doing <laughs> he's kind of digging around here um, it looks like it takes ore to make it man that's kind of expensive uh, I'll need to farm a lot more ore before I can use that reliably let's just upload our uh, a rotted wood club right quick we need fossil blocks and wooden planks okay so fossil blocks and we can build wow a lot <laughs> not a lot and wooden planks we can build a few of those okay is that all we needed here weapons rotted wood club Oh, we need eight fossil blocks and eight wood planks. So we're going to have to get a little bit more fossil. Well, there's actually one right there. Let's go ahead and gather up a little bit of fossils. i got to be careful that the guy looks like a um, in a space suit. You know what that reminds me of? There's an old episode of Scooby-Doo, and there was this alien that had like a... <laughs> like a um, some sort of uh, bubble on his head like that, and that's what it looked like. Oh, what? Who's dying? Somebody just died. It sounded like... I don't know. That sounded kind of crazy. Okay, so I did get a little bit of fossils. Um, is there any... Fo oh, there's some fossil right there, too. Oh, there's some more down there. Okay, I should have enough to make it, actually. So I'm going to pull off these. And I don't know how much of what to do, you guys. Like, am I, am I, am I crafting too much? Am I forming too much? Am I not fighting enough? I just want to make sure that I have a reasonable chance at fighting. So I uh, hope you guys could put up with a little bit of crafting in the early segments. And we'll see what's going on. And I'd like to go exploring some. Now that I have my uplink, I want to use most of these materials <laughs> to give myself the best chances I can. Man, there is some nasty sounds coming from there. Okay. Um, wait, where's my stuff? Oh, there it is. Okay. I see there's some ore down there, too. I don't want to spend forever if I don't need to. I could gather resources all day long. I mean, that's just how I roll. Uh, okay, hold on. We need to do this right here. Oh, no, factory. I'm sorry. I'm going to get all this down sooner or later. Fossil blocks, we need six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just enough. And we also need some more wooden planks. Wooden planks, we'll need six more. Very cool. And now we come over to the weapons. Rotted wood club. Build. Aha! So, is it better? Let's see. Weapons. Rotted wood club, a melee weapon, combat knife. Huh. Okay, well, hot bore. Hot bore. Clear sl Wait, use. Oh, okay, now it's in there now. 
slot one okay is it in slot one now yes it is all right so i got a big club now man look at me i am walking death i am a nightmare in tree bark <laughs> okay let's do a little bit of exploring shall we so which direction should we head i tell you what i've already gone up the mountain let's go directly i wish i had wasn't there something like there was oh, not G? Um, there was something that I can do with with building that allowed me to get like a locator. I think. Let's see. Placed items, no. Uplink powered rooms, no. None of this. Where was that? It was called a locator, I think. Let me see. Is that available in our science station? Maybe. Stems, consumables, devices, locator. Okay, so we need more fossils for that, ore bars, and cut gems. Everything else we have. Okay, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to gather up these little bit of materials, make my locator, and then we'll be off. All right, you guys, it's ready. <laughs> and you know what else I just noticed? Building this will show you the latitude, longitude of your location on the planet on your hood. Once you build this device, you'll always have it. So this is a heck of an upgrade. Let's go ahead and build it and... Oh, look, at the top right, it shows our latitude and longitude. Okay, so we're actually going to have to write that down. Negative 577 by 780. Um, <laughs> excuse me for a second while I get that written down. Sweet. All taken care of. We got our coordinates written down. Now we can go exploring a little bit. But before we do that, I want to see if those big guys are around here still. And I want to see if I can beat them up with this new club I got. I've never attacked one of these guys before. Of course, I don't see where they're at. Maybe I should kill a few of these first. Try this club out. So I was hitting for three earlier. Oh, wow. Now I'm hitting for like 90? Is that, is that right? Like, this is a heck of a club, man. I'm like bashing these guys. That's awesome. What are they giving? I want to get some blueprints, too. That's my major thing. I want to get some crafting recipes. So I think I'm just going to kill a few of these guys. They're taking a little bit of health from me. Nothing major, though. We are a few levels up, in fact. And I'm going to try to get a little bit of resources as I go, too. Especially if I see fossils. So that'll be something that I concentrate on a little bit. Okay. So what's over here? We have plenty of wood. This is somebody's little settlement here. Okay, there's some flying creatures over there. I've never fought any of those guys. Let's take a swing at them. Hello. <laughs> okay. Do you fight? Oh, these guys ain't hard at all. Oh, ouch. Well, they do hit back. Invisible essence? Essence of poison? I like the strafing action that I'm getting down here. I know it gets a little blurry every once in a while when I do that, you guys. The, the game has a little bit of motion blur. I think it's like a depth of view type thing that that gets in the way. <laughs> I'll try to keep it to a minimum if I can. So I'll make you guys dizzy for sure. Okay, so all these are level 1. What kind of stuff am I getting here? Uh, let's see. Do I have any blueprints yet? No. Huh. Well, maybe I should find something a little bit harder to take on. Let's see. Let's go check out this big establishment that we got over here. This looks interesting. And I think, I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, look, infected levels 2 to 3, Panopia. So basically, when you get to different regions, uh, it kind of appears, it tells you where you're at and what kind of level range it is. Which is pretty neat, because it, does, it allows you to, to not get into too much danger, you know? I wonder what kind of resources are at the, um... <laughs> Somebody said, you ain't about that life, son. <laughs> oh, Lord, now they cursing. My bad, you guys. Sometimes you will see that in a multiplayer game. Um, 
Okay, these are the level two flying bugs. I don't think... I don't think there's much for level two that level one won't give me. Although you never know. Now that one's by itself, maybe I can attack it. Ouch. Okay. So that it dropped a health. It doesn't give me a whole lot of health when it does that, but it does give me a little bit. There's some ore right here I think I'm going to go ahead and grab too. Uh, let's get that. This ore is still pretty valuable at this point. Everything's kind of valuable at this point. But I don't want to do too much of one thing at one time, you know. There we go. And those look like some rare spawns that drop sometimes. A meteor ore. So basically, every time you form a resource, I guess you have a little chance of getting something, uh, a rare drop from it, which is pretty neat. Oh, what, what's going on there? Huh. I don't know, every once in a while I hear a screams, and I'm like, what happened? Who died? Okay, these are level twos. That is a level one. Okay, guys, we're going to search a little bit. Uh, it looks like I'm getting back to the level one area. We're going to search a little bit around here, and we're going to find something interesting. I'll bring you guys back in. So here's something, you guys. Infected tech hunters. I think I fought one of these things before, but from the from what I've heard, these things got dropped some pretty good loot. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit of... Oh, they hit very hard, though. I'm hitting them for about 70 every time. Wow. Level up. Whoo, I needed that. Blueprints for harvesters. <laughs> Just what I was looking for. That is wonderful. Okay, um, let's see. What kind of... My health situation is good. Oh, it's because I leveled up a bit. Well, that's awesome that I actually got something. Uh, let's see. I'd like to fight a few more of these guys before I go worry about getting these harvesters. Oh, there's a ton of them over here. Okay, I gotta be real, real careful here. Oh, these are level ones. Not that I still shouldn't be worried about them. What's their aggro range? The closer they get together is... What's he doing? Some sort of kata? Alright. Get separated, guys. Get separated. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. You're going down, buddy. You're only level one. Nice. Okay. Got some more blueprints. Generators. Force field doors. Holy cow! This is some great stuff. I was right. Alright. And good XP, too. Okay, no blueprints from that guy. Let's hit this other guy up. <laughs> he says, to end you. Nice, another blueprint. A flag. Cool. All right. There's one more I'm going to try to take down before I head back to base. I don't know if it helps much to strafe or what. Nice. What did, what did that give me? Okay. Techna counter heart? Weird, man. Very weird. Well, I tell you what, guys. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about having all this loot on me. I'm going to head back and see if I can make a harvester for some of that element X and maybe we can upgrade our tool. So it turns out that you can use these things anywhere. When I open up my build window now, I'll sh I'll see. I haven't tr I haven't had to use it or anything. It just kind of gets added to your recipes. So here's the harvester right here, and I need to be able to put that somewhere. I have all the materials to do it. I just need to find a place where there's some of that element X. But first, Space Ghost guy <laughs> needs to needs to go down. He looks big, man. I'm kind of worried. Oh. But I do have some stems. Oh, wow. Uh-uh. Oh, health. I hit the health stem. Hit it again. Go down. Go down, big boy. Oh, no. Get away. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man. I can't believe. Okay, so apparently we still have... Oh, look. Got too close. How do I get it? It says it's lootable. Get it all! Run away! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> I don't think I could kill that guy. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah, they're a little bit too strong for me. <laughs> oh well. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna heal up. <laughs> it was worth it. it was worth a try. I'm gonna heal up, and uh, we're gonna take a look at, around for some of that element X. Well, you guys, I just died. <laughs> I was PK'd by some of these dudes, apparently, and I'm sure if I go back in here. I'm a friendly bro, dude. Do you got beef or what? I got no beef. I'm over here acting all hard like that. I'll my butt. Cool, got my stuff back. Ha <laughs> ha! Sweet! Alright, guys, so we are right next to a node, and I went ahead and placed down the harvester. And it spawns one element X about every 10 seconds. If I go to take element X, I can take it one at a time. And it just keeps on producing, I guess, until the node is out. So really, really cool. I, I set it to private so that no one can mess with it. And I think I'm going to wait until some of this harvest. Unfortunately, there's a lot of PvP activity around where I set camp. A little bit. There's my place right there, a little bit further out. There's a bunch of fighting that's been going on, and I was murdered earlier. Actually, someone came and looted the backpack, too. So, I have to be real careful. You see them shooting out there? That's some players. So, I have to be real careful. At any rate, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Next time we come back, I'll try to be in a safer area <laughs> so I don't get my butt kicked. So, thanks so much for watching, you guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Bye!